Ever wondered how to turn that blank credit canvas into a masterpiece of financial trustworthiness? Well, you're not alone. The world of credit can seem like a labyrinth, but with the right tools and knowledge, it can be navigated with ease. Today, we're going to demystify this financial puzzle and give you the tools to build a solid credit history from scratch. Let's start by understanding what credit is. At its core, credit is trust. It's a promise that you'll repay the money you borrow. When you use credit, you're essentially borrowing money that you promise to pay back within a certain time frame, but it's not just about borrowing and repaying. It's about demonstrating your ability to manage debt responsibly over time. Now you might be thinking, why does credit matter? Well, let me tell you, it matters a lot. Credit is like a passport to financial opportunities. It can influence everything from the interest rates you're offered on loans, to your ability to rent a home and even potential job opportunities. Your credit report is essentially your financial report card, and it's visible to anyone considering lending you money or providing you with a service. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Building credit isn't about impressing others, it's about creating financial stability for yourself. It's about proving to yourself that you can manage your finances responsibly. It's about setting yourself up for success in the future. So, how do you build credit from scratch? Well, it's a journey, not a sprint. It requires patience, discipline, and a strategic approach. And that's precisely what we're going to delve into today. We're going to provide you with a roadmap to building a solid credit history, one that paints a picture of financial trustworthiness. Think of credit as your financial report card showcasing how responsible you are with borrowed money. It's a reflection of your financial character and it's within your power to shape and mold it in a way that best serves you. So, let's embark on this journey together and set a course for financial success. One of the most effective ways to start building credit is by obtaining a secured credit card. But what exactly is a secured credit card? Well, it's a type of credit card that requires a security deposit. This deposit then acts as collateral and typically determines your credit limit. In other words, if you deposit $200, your credit limit will be $200. This deposit minimizes the risk for the lender, making secured cards a fantastic option for those with no credit or poor credit. Now you might be thinking, but I'm just lending money to myself, right? Not exactly. While it's true that your deposit acts as a safety net, it's the responsible use of the card that really matters here. The key is to make small, manageable purchases and pay off your balance each month. Remember, this isn't about spending money you don't have, it's about showing lenders that you can responsibly handle credit. By making on-time payments, you're demonstrating reliability, which is precisely what lenders want to see. Just like with any credit card, secured cards have interest rates and fees. It's essential to read the fine print and understand the terms before you sign up. Look for a card that reports to all three major credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. This way, your responsible use and timely payments will positively impact your credit score. And there's one more thing, graduation. Some secured cards offer the chance to graduate to an unsecured card after a period of responsible use. This can be an excellent next step in your credit building journey. By using a secured credit card responsibly and making timely payments, you're laying down the foundation for a positive credit history. It's like planting a seed and nurturing it with care. In time, with patience and diligence, you'll watch your credit score grow, opening up new opportunities for financial success. Building credit isn't just about using credit cards, it's also about diversifying your credit portfolio. This is the art of blending different types of credit in a way that paints a picture of your ability to juggle various financial responsibilities. Just as an artist uses different colors and techniques to create a masterpiece, you too need to mix and match your credit options to build a strong credit profile. So what exactly does diversifying your credit portfolio entail? Well, it's about exploring different types of credit. These may include installment loans like auto loans or student loans and revolving credit lines such as home equity lines of credit. Each of these credit types tells a different story about your financial habits. Having a diversified portfolio shows lenders that you're not just a one-trick pony but rather a financially responsible individual who can handle various kinds of credit. Mixing it up shows lenders that you can handle various financial responsibilities. Did you know that your payment history contributes significantly to your credit score? Yes indeed, it's a big piece of the credit score pie. Think about it. If you consistently pay your bills on time, it sends a clear signal to lenders that you're a reliable borrower and reliable borrowers are exactly what lenders love. Now let's get practical. How can you maintain a stellar payment history? 
Well, one of the simplest ways is setting up automatic payments. This ensures you never miss a deadline, even if it slips your mind. And if you're not a fan of autopilot, marking the due dates on your calendar works just as well. Another tip, don't ignore those small bills. Even a forgotten library fine can end up denting your credit score if it's sent to a collection agency. So, whether it's a big mortgage payment or a tiny library fine, make sure it's paid on time. So, set up automatic payments or mark those due dates on your calendar, whatever it takes to stay on track. But building credit isn't a solo journey, it's a team effort. Sometimes you can speed up the process by becoming an authorized user on a family member's credit card, especially if they have a solid credit history. But what does being an authorized user mean? Well, as an authorized user, you're granted permission to use someone else's credit card. However, you're not legally responsible for paying off the credit card debt. The primary cardholder retains this responsibility. But here's the kicker. The account's credit history becomes part of your credit report, too. That's right. If the primary cardholder has a history of on-time payments and keeps the balance low, this can positively affect your credit score. It's like getting a head start in the race towards a robust credit history. However, there's a caveat. It's not just the positive credit habits that reflect on your report. If the primary cardholder misses payments or maxes out the card, those negative actions will also show up on your credit report. It's a double-edged sword of sorts. So, before you jump on board, make sure the cardholder has a good credit history themselves. Also, it's crucial to have a frank conversation about expectations and responsibilities. For example, will you be using the card? And if so, how will you repay the primary cardholder? Or is the primary cardholder simply adding you for the purpose of helping you build credit? Remember, the goal here is to leverage someone else's good credit behavior to bolster your own credit history. It's not an invitation to go on a spending spree at their expense. Becoming an authorized user can be a powerful tool in your credit building arsenal. It's like getting a leg up, a boost towards building that solid credit history you're aiming for. But as with all financial tools, it's essential to use it wisely and responsibly. This strategy allows you to piggyback off their good credit behavior, giving your own score a boost. And now for the grand finale, monitoring your credit. Imagine it as conducting a regular health checkup, but for your financial wellness. This practice is integral to maintaining a robust credit history. Monitoring your credit allows you to spot any inaccuracies, discrepancies, or even signs of identity theft that could potentially harm your credit score. It's also a fantastic way to track your progress and see how your financial decisions are influencing your credit worthiness. Remember, knowledge is power, and being aware of your credit standing puts you in the driver's seat of your financial journey. So, how do you monitor your credit? Well, there are plenty of resources out there. For instance, Credit Karma offers a free service where you can check your credit scores, reports, and insights. AnnualCreditReport.com is another great resource that provides free credit reports. Services like Credit Karma or AnnualCreditReport.com offer free access to your credit report, so there's no excuse to skip this step. And there you have it, folks, your crash course in building a solid credit history from scratch. We've covered everything from understanding the importance of credit to kickstarting your journey with a secured card, diversifying your credit portfolio, the game-changing power of timely payments, and the benefits of becoming an authorized user. And let's not forget the importance of keeping a close eye on your credit report to catch any discrepancies or signs of identity theft. Remember, the road to a solid credit history is a marathon, not a sprint. So take these steps one at a time, and before you know it, you'll be reaping the rewards of your financial diligence. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below with your credit building tips, and share it with friends and family. Hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell for more financial wisdom.